Hi, my name is Chris Roberts with High and Tight here in Portland, Maine, and this is Dan Lemley, who has been very kind to be our volunteer and, and allow us to show you or demonstrate some of the different hair techniques that we're using today. The question that's been asked is, what's the difference between a buzz cut versus a shaved head? Um, a buzz cut does not necessarily mean a shaved head. It can, in some cases, can be very close to looking like a shaved head, but with a buzz cut, it means that you're doing a uniform haircut over the entire head. Now, it's generally always used with a clipper. In this case, we just finished a previous video where we took Dan's hair and clipped it to a number three, which means he has three-eighths of an inch of hair remaining all over his head right now. We, um, you can do different lengths with your clippers and different guards. You have a whole series of guards from as small as a... Uh, uh, triple aught zero, which is going to be straight on, straight on the blades here in a closed position or in an open position, a half inch all the way up to a number 10 guard, which would leave an inch and a half of hair remaining on the head. Uh, in this particular case, we did a number three. It left three eighths of an inch of hair remaining all over Dan's head. If we had, if he had wanted to come in and had said, you know, I want to shave my head, what I most likely would have done in a true shaved head means that you're removing all of the hair from the head. That's what a shaved head is versus a, a buzz cut. A buzz cut, um, generally the shortest you can go, is going to be what we call a, a five aught zero or a triple aught zero as well. Those are both really like practically right down to the skin. But it still is a buzz cut. There's still hair remaining on the head. And it's all going to be uniform, all the same length. If you're shaving the head, then what you would most likely do, like if Dan had come in, for example, saying, I want to shave my head, the first thing I would have done is I'd go to the smallest that I had, which would be straight on the blade. So in this case, let's say I take my walls. I would have taken this, put it in the closed position, and I would have removed all of the hair from his head as best I could. So I'm right down to just stubble on the top of his head. I would then take and put warm, hot towels to help open up the pores. I would place them on top of his head here, and then let them sort of, you know, love the head a little bit, make sure that the pores are getting nice and warmed and opened up. I would then remove them. If you have a lather machine, which is basically a hot lather machine, that's the ideal way to do a shaved head. You would then take the required amount of hot lather, you would put that over the whole area that's going to be shaved on the top of the head, and you would then take a straight edge razor. Now, and I don't have a straight edge razor because I don't offer this particular service, but what I can show you, it would essentially be like this feather razor, but instead of having a guard on it, if we were to remove that, it would be right down to the edge here, and just the very edge, which is a straight edge, is what would be used to cut the head. And when I say cut the head, I don't mean you're going to cut holes into it. You're essentially going to take and you're going to glide over the top of the head to remove the hair, right at a very particular certain set angle to make sure that you don't cut into the head. You just want to let the, the straight edge razor glide across the top and remove the hair. At the end of that time period, I would then clean off the hair, uh, the head of the remaining shaving lotion that's on there. I would probably take some cool towels to help close those pores again because you've just had a shaving experience. And then I would probably apply a little bit of what I like to call the bay rum, which is a basically it's a aftershave lotion. It's a hair tonic to apply to the head to help moisturize the head and to make sure that there's no um, you know clogged pores or anything of that nature in it. So. That's probably a longer explanation than what you may have been looking for, but the primary differences between a buzz cut versus a shaved head is the amount of removal of hair. Shaved head, all of the hair is being completely removed, and all that is remaining is the skin and, um, and the basic hair follicles, um, versus a buzz cut where you're setting the hair to a certain length, and there will always still be hair remaining uh, from whether it's right down to the, right down to the scalp or at a set longer length, depending on what you're looking for. My name is Chris Roberts here with High and Tight. Thank you again, Dan Lemley, for being with us, and we'll look forward to speaking to you again in the future.